Hello, it is me, Helena, and I want to introduce everybody to little Lex. This is Lex. This is Lex Stefan Abish. He was born on June 29th at 2.42 a.m. And he is the perfect baby. He's awesome. He eats good. He sleeps good. And I'm just loving it. So I thought that I would go ahead and give a little update while I, while he's being nice in my arms. <laughs> so we'll see how long this lasts. A long time. He's so good. Uh, okay, so I am back at Cocoon for my baths again because I'm just ready to be all better. All well and everything. Yesterday was day one. And so I'm going to make sure that I make videos every day of my progress once again. Uh, I, I, um... My, first of all, let's, yesterday I came here feeling just like I had a baby nine days ago <laughs> and I, um, I was just tired. I was ornery, I was not sleeping well, even though he was, so he would wake me up at night and then I would be up with insomnia for the rest of the night because I was waking up to nurse and it was, I, I'm choosing to nurse. I want to nurse and so that's just kind of how it was. Yesterday I slept like a baby and he did too. It was awesome. So I, what I was doing up until this point, I, my whole, my focus all pregnancy was to make sure that by the time I had the baby and I could come back to cocoon that, um, that the treatments would be fast and effective and hopefully, hopefully with the least amount of detox that I would have to go through. So I, came to cocoon from like the first month of pregnancy until the middle of my eighth month <laughs> yeah I, I kind of pushed it there I came here until I was about 37 weeks pregnant and I would drive two hours here at two hours home uh, at the beginning once let's see like once or twice a week and then three times a week and then towards the end of my pregnancy I was coming four times four times a week so driving four hours a day for one bath four times a week and to be honest the baths were not by that time I was so big and so uncomfortable and my headaches were so constant and my mood swings were so bad that I didn't feel like the baths were making a difference for me but I knew on a cellular level that they were and that it would make my birth easier and it would make my um my ability to bounce back after the birth so much better and so I kept on coming even though it was a nuisance it was hard to find babysitters for my kids and everything and then came the birth on June 29th and he was and it it was uh, really it was just a beautiful birth I'll make another video on the birth because it was really interesting very different than my other two it was a short, short story. It was five and a half hours, no complications. Um, close those so you can see my eyes. So, uh, no, no birth complications, no problems with my anything. I was really healthy, really good, and really quick. There were, I mean, yeah, I'll just tell you the rest of the story later. So, day one of my baths, I came here feeling just tired and exhausted and a little honoring just ready to be well just ready and I came here I wasn't planning on coming for about a month after I had the baby but I'm just ready to be better and there's nothing holding me back from getting better through cocoon so my midwife gave me the okay to take baths and I came here right away with little Lex might be the hardest thing ever to have left to have taken him away from his big brothers who are adorable with him but um we came here and my after that first bath yesterday I had that constant headache that I had when I started these baths I, that was back and after that first bath the headache was a little better it wasn't a migraine anymore at least but it was it was still there after the first bath after the second bath it was gone no more headache and then during the third bath, Lex was fussy and it was annoying because I was getting in the bath and out of the bath and in the bath and out of the bath 
to take care of him. Oh yeah, he was in the bath with me for the second bath and he loved it. Loved, loved, loved it. He just melted onto my chest and just slept and slept and oh my goodness. And yesterday, so you see how he has some baby acne here? Like yesterday it was so much worse. His baby acne is like 50% better today. Seriously, it was pretty bad. And I thought that was, that was pretty awesome. And he just loved it. I should have just let him sleep on me for the third bath too, but he was, um, so he was fussy and I was in and out of the bath. And before, if this would have been a month ago or so, that would have made me so frustrated and totally would have taken away any relaxation or anything that I had from the bath. But I just kind of thought it was funny and I was fine and I dealt with it and went on with my day and it was, it wasn't a big deal. He's cute. I took care of him and I still got most of my bath and it was great. Last night, Lex and I both slept great and today I, yeah, I've been in one bath and I am just, I'm excited. I think that even faster than last time, I'm going to be back to normal. A mom, healthy, headache free, and no more living like I had a stroke. I'm done with that. I'm done. And I'm so ready to just move on and thank you to Cocoon I Can. Now, like, do you guys realize I would not have this child if it were not for Cocoon Wellness Spa. I would not have chosen to have another child if I didn't know I could be better again. And so this is my Cocoon Miracle baby. Once again, I keep showing him to you because look at him. He's so cute. Look at his little hands. <sighs> ah. Anyways, thank you for everything and talk to you tomorrow. Oh, yeah, something like that or later today. <laughs> okay, bye.